I'm Melina Kaduri. I lead operations here at DOC, and this is a video about how to stake on the DOC network. I'm using our staging environment for demonstration purposes, but you'll obviously be doing this on our mainnet. We've set up a front end application to enable staking, which is what we're looking at. And uh, this is an overview section where you can see the different validators. We currently have 30 uh, validators running our testnet, and you can also see different statistics about both the validators and the network here. So to start, you'll need to create two accounts, which we'll be using for staking. One is the stash account, uh, which is the tokens that you'll actually be bonding, uh, which means staking to the network. Um, so it's important that this account is very secure. And the second account is the controller account, which signals choices on behalf of the stash account. The controller just needs a small amount of tokens to pay for staking uh, transaction fees. So that can be done in the account section um, just by clicking on add account. So next we can go ahead um, and start staking on the network. So we're going to go to the network tab, click staking, and then click on the account action section. And then next we'll want to click on nominator. And this is where you'll see a modal to select your stash and controller accounts. So let's go ahead and select those. So I'll be using this stash test account and this controller test account. And then you'll also want to add how much the amount uh, that you want to bond to the network. So let's just do a million doc test tokens. And the bonding duration is set. Uh, this is standard for everyone for seven days. And then you'll also want to select which account you want to receive the payouts uh, from your staking activity. Um, our recommendation is to use the Stash account, but it's up to you uh, which account you want to use. Also, one more uh, important thing to note regarding the amount uh, that you're bonding uh, is that you'll always need to leave at least one DOC token in that account that's not bonded. And that is a requirement within the network to keep an account active. So make sure to uh, reduce this total balance by at least one if you're looking to bond your total amount of tokens. Let's go ahead and go to the next section. And this is where you are going to select the validators that you want to nominate in the network. Uh, you can select up to 16 validators and the DOC network currently supports up to 50 validators who can be actively validating at one time. So there could be more than 50 validators within the network, but there's always going to be up to 50 validating at one time. And there can be up to 256 nominators per validator. So let's go ahead and select some validators for us to nominate within the network. And then once you've selected your validators, you can go ahead and click bond and nominate. And then this is where we will want to uh, just confirm the password and, and confirm the transaction and go ahead and click find and submit. And that's it. And now you are officially uh, starting the stake within the network. Um, the nominations become active at the start of each era which is every 12 hours. And you can view your, uh, your activity, your staking activity in this section. So this top one is the uh, stake that we just uh, submitted. You can see this waiting nomination uh, notification. And you can also see the different validators that were selected. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, we also have documentation available that runs through uh, how to nominate um, and stake on the DOC network. And of course, you can always reach out to our uh, support team or through our different channels if you need further assistance.